A discovery by Tennessee doctors a year ago is still having an impact on the pharmaceutical industry. That's right. You'll remember local doctors were the first to make the connection between the deadly meningitis outbreak and tainted drugs. That outbreak killed dozens of people. Tonight, Fox 17's Erica Lathan shows us how the outbreak led to better oversight for some of America's drug makers. This was a very large outbreak. That's how Dr. William Schaffner describes last year's deadly meningitis outbreak when patients at a St. Thomas outpatient center began getting sick with fungal meningitis. The problem was eventually traced to contaminated steroid shots purchased from the New England Compounding Center in Boston, a company that at the time was largely unregulated. A substantial aspect of the industry had grown up and had I'll use the word evaded regulatory oversight. That's what surprised me. The contaminated drugs were linked to 64 deaths, including 16 in Tennessee. Hundreds more were sickened. Fox 17 was the only local TV station in Washington when Senator Lamar Alexander called for a congressional hearing. The Massachusetts State Board of Pharmacy uh, had the clear authority to deal with this problem. They just were incompetent. The hearings also uncovered the role Tennessee played in solving the medical mystery. A Vanderbilt doctor and the state health department are credited with finding the link between meningitis and the tainted medicine. I'm enormously proud of the role of uh, the Tennessee Department of Health and the way it conducted this investigation. Dr. Schaffner says it's an investigation that saved lives and is ultimately leading to oversight that will make us all safer. Patients, above all, and certainly all doctors and nurses and healthcare providers need to have real confidence that the medications they're using are appropriate and sterile. Erica Lathan, Fox 17 News. The Drug Quality and Security Act is designed to give the FDA oversight over compounding pharmacies. The bill recently passed the U.S. House and is expected to clear the Senate as well.